Now, you have Francis, Hazel, and Manwai. All three of them have, proved, have proven that they, had, they, that they had what it took on the national stage. How you have seen them perform uh, in the, on the national stage, Hazel and Manwai on, in parliament. And of course, uh, Francis has always been on the, on the stage talking to the press and also to the, some of the political associations. Now, in the last year, the party has also attracted so much new talent, and so it is transforming. It is like a metamorphosis. Things are changing, and as the party grows, we need to, we need to make space to enhance the leadership. There was a time when my direct input was crucial because the party was in infancy, learning to walk, but now the party has grown and matured. And the new team must have the opportunity to use their strengths and skills to move forward. Our sec gen Francis is steady as a rock. He is dependable and competent. He has drawn on his experience as an Air Force Lieutenant Colonel and if I check, I think he has, when he was in the Army, he held quite a number of senior positions in the armed forces. But his private sector experience, heading Honeywell, I'm sure in the Honeywell is a very big uh, organization, in the Asia Pacific region. That means it covers a very wide area, including China, Korea, and also the region around this area. Now he has done a fantastic job restructuring the party and introducing new incentives to allow political talent to surface. You see, after our the, the general election, we reorganized our party. We had, a, we had a restructuring committee headed by Francis, and that was, we kept the party improving and also looking for new talent as we, as we went along. Now, he is full of composure and instilled quiet confidence in people. To use a Hokkien term, I'm a Hokkien speaker, Ichin Chai. You know it's Chai, you know? So you must look for people who are Jin Chai, then they be, I know they can carry the ground. And this is what we need, as I said, in the second gen. Now, Man Wai is a tenacious politician and a creative thinker. And because of his knowledge, experience, and competence in financial matters, he cannot be fooled in this area. So he'll be a match for anyone in this area. Now, Hazel, you have seen her performance. She's a deep and clear thinker, very important. The party must have all kinds of people with different talent. You watch her, her, her every answer is well thought through and steady. She's also very down to earth. Hazel can quickly grasp policy matters and the repercussions for Singaporeans. And in, and in addition to these three, we also have other new leaders. I think you can see some of them walking the ground now and a team of people supporting them. Now they are more current and then more and I think know more than I do, and that's the way it should be. Personally, for me, I'm what you call, I'm changing gear. I'm not stepping aside, but I will not lead the party from the front anymore. In the past, I always say I'm like a second arrow, you know, I'm at the top here, but now I want to flatten this, so it's so get we get everybody to do some, some job so that I can also look out on the capabilities and also the abilities as future leaders. So the time is right for me to play a different role. Now people are asking me whether I should step down. I tell them, look, I just started. <laughs> I just started last year. How can I step down? 
but I'm changing gear. I keep on repeating, okay? So I will play a different role. The job of running the party is now on the shoulders of Francis and all my other young leaders here. And I'm very confident in them because I watch how they do things and I watch how they conduct themselves. 